Good morning, everybody. Um, we're day number two, or I think it's not supposed to be bad. And then tomorrow, we're back down to heat waves. And um, yesterday, I did put up some of the vegetables. Not too many, because it's the first couple of days. So that's open, self-service change bags. Um, it's been so hot, I didn't get the cover done, but that's okay. For now, I'll just do the, you know, take it in, put it out, take it in, put it out. And I just now put up our sign. So hopefully, I can get him a little bit more business. My blueberry sign is over here. And some of the flowers are coming out pretty good for this one corner. It's going to be a long time before I get the rest of it rectified. But a little out of time. So this is what the whole front looked like before the carnage. <laughs> Up into there. And then this is the last day, Lily. And then going down the rest of the ways, not much. But I do have a lot of um, hibiscus coming up that they were up on the upper level with the blueberries. And I just kept cutting them, shaking the seeds in the front. And that's going to be nice. So I think I like that, especially for after the blueberries are done. They'll start blooming and cover a lot of this wall. So maybe that'll be a good plan. Just keep shaking them along here so I get from where the oil man stair is here. Hibiscus. All the way. Let me back up. Ah. Oops. There we go. Down to maybe the other side of this bush where this right here, I believe, is some type of hy hibiscus. But these are all these are all the same. So if this one blooms, I can shake some of that seed down the other end, get a little bit of a move. But have the flowers up until this is Elia, and then do a hibiscus to cover the front and along the the very front, um, like the old days the portulaca and all this stuff is stuff that will die down the portulaca does come back so it's easy to clean this stuff up maybe this year after the um daffodils go by i'll come up and like separate them a little bit make that look a little bit better so that's good so there's Plant stand open for sure today. And um, not much else. We're taking Houdini, not Houdini. Oh, where did that come from? I'm taking Mayhem over to work across the street. So, the girl that's down the street there. So, I've already got heat eye and I'm already sweating. So, um, hope everybody has a good day. Thanks for stopping by. And um, if you haven't yet, subscribe and um, leave me some comments. So I always like to hear comments. Oh, and yes, we did because of um, the pandemic and the um, yeah. and the end of benefits. We don't know what's going to happen. I did. I lowered my prices to help out. Like new prices, lowered the prices. Pandemic. So that's good. Most of the vegetables that I have here, the tomatoes like the uglies and stuff that might be either a little bit too big or crooked or something. So this is like the basement store of the farm. So it works out pretty well. But hopefully everybody has a good day. I'd like to get something done before it gets too hot. And I do have to go help my friend again Saturday. I think it's turned into a Saturday thing, but I think I have to change your air conditioner filter today and still go through some more, um, it's got a lot of jewelry and junk that she has to go through. I mean, it's like one box is 37 pounds of beads. 
but that's what happens when you're in the jewelry business, right? So anyway, I hope everybody has a good day. Take care, and until next time, see you soon.